Some foods, whether healthy or not, have fascinating facts you would never have guessed. In this video, we'll explore 20 amazing food facts that may appear to be too bizarre to be accurate, but they are. Let's jump right in. Number 1. Most carrots were originally purple before the 17th century. It's not strange to sometimes find different colors of carrots when shopping. But before the 1700s, purple was the primary color carrots had. In some cases, there were variants of some white and yellow carrots, but orange carrots were rare. At the end of the 16th century, Dutch farmers began to research and test to increase the quality of their veggies. They began experimenting with mutant variants of purple, white, and yellow carrots. After many generations, they arrived at the sweet kind we see today, which was tastier and is more disease-resistant than their purple ancestors. Number 2. Nutmeg isn't just used in food. It can also be hallucinogenic if consumed in large doses. Nutmeg is a high-risk, low-cost narcotic hiding just in plain sight in our cabinets. It is an intensely aromatic herb that can alter the flavor of your food and is occasionally used in traditional medicine as a healing agent. Nutmeg is a popular spice from the Indonesian nutmeg tree used in spice pastries, savory meat, and veggie meals. Unknown to many, nutmeg contains a compound called myristicin, a stimulant with extremely unpleasant lethal adverse effects when consumed excessively. Myristicin's side effects often include hallucinations and disorientation. In fact, many people now dose high on nutmeg as a cheap way to experience various psychedelic effects. Number 3. Raw pistachios have been known to spontaneously combust when stored in large quantities. It's true. Pistachios can spontaneously combust. This is possible due to its high fat content, 45% to 55%, and low moisture content. The popular mid-afternoon snack tends to produce heat if stacked in large quantities. If the nuts are stacked in large quantities, such as on a cargo vessel, their high oil content coupled with high pressure might cause them to produce enough heat to combust. Number 4. Pound cake got its name because the original recipe for the dessert required one pound of each ingredient. While the pound cake is said to have originated in Europe in the 1700s, this basic dish has been replicated and updated in American cookbooks dating back as far as the first one. Judging from the name, many would assume a pound cake would weigh just one pound, hence the name. But that's not the case. Pound cakes originally weighed about four pounds. The original recipe uses a pound of each of the following ingredients flour, eggs, butter, and sugar. Hence, the name comes from using a pound of each ingredient that makes up the cake. Number 5. Baked beans are not actually baked. Baked beans are often cooked using tiny, white navy beans with other ingredients such as herbs, sugar, and spices. Recipes may also incorporate vinegar, tomato sauce, molasses, and mustard. Can baked beans are steamed rather than baked? They can also be prepared in different ways, such as in a slow cooker or stovetop. In most cases, baked beans meals are vegan. On the other hand, many flavor them with bacon or salt cured meat in small amounts. Number 6. Tomato ketchup was used as medicine for 16 years. If you ever get a headache, a nasty cough, or neck pain, you would never think of picking up a ketchup bottle and taking a sip to treat the illness. But according to Fast Company, there was a period when people believed ketchup had medicinal properties. Dr. John Cook Bennett touted tomato ketchup as a treatment that healed diarrhea, indigestion, jaundice, and rheumatism when he invented a formula for it in 1834. He even turned the ketchup into tablets to make it appear more legitimate. However, once the claims were proven to be false, the era of the ketchup medicine ended in 1850. Number 7. 
artificial banana flavoring is based on an extinct banana. So, what's the deal with banana flavor not tasting like a banana? The explanation is complex, and it starts with a legend. According to legend, the iconic banana flavoring has an exact origin. Those artificial banana flavorings were derived from an old variety of bananas known as the Gross Mickle. The Gross Mickle, sometimes known as Big Mike, was previously widely available in Western supermarkets. However, a nasty fungus known as Fusarium oxysporum, also known as Panama disease, pretty much eliminated the Gross Mickle throughout the 20th century. To satisfy consumers' need for bananas, manufacturers developed the Cavendish banana strain, which was immune to Panama disease but had a slightly different flavor. But the more intense Gross Mickle derived flavorings persisted, explaining the disparity between banana flavorings and the regularly consumed fruit. Number 8. Eating Polar Bear Liver Can Kill a Human Being a polar bear's liver contains an extraordinarily high level of vitamin A. This is owing to their diet of vitamin A-rich fish and seals. The Eskimos have long known this and grew cautious of eating polar bear livers. But early Arctic explorers discovered the truth the hard way. Consuming polar bear liver can result in acute hypervitaminosis A, a type of vitamin A poisoning. This causes hair loss, vomiting, bone deterioration, and in extreme cases, death. So, while capturing a polar bear may sound dangerous, it turns out again that ingesting its liver is just as dangerous. Number 9. Tea bags were an accidental invention. There are some disputes about who developed the first tea bag. However, according to one of the most famous tailies, Thomas Sullivan, an American tea importer, sent samples of his tea in silk pouches in 1908. He never meant for his clients to immerse the silk pouches directly in hot water, but some did and requested more. Number 10. You can eat the stickers on the fruit. Many items can be ingested in modest quantities without causing significant harm. Fruit stickers are among these. While they can be eaten, neither the stickers or the adhesives used to glue them are tasty. To be placed on an edible item, fruit stickers and adhesive must be confirmed as non-lethal. As such, the FDA considers fruit stickers an indirect food additive and must adhere to the standards for a food contact material. However, as with other things, the FDA restrictions on this are ambiguous. This means that fruit stickers can be produced and sold by a variety of companies. Each sticker might be made from a different piece of paper and adhered to with a different glue, all of which are not necessarily edible. Number 11. Chickens are eaten for their whole life cycle. People turn to chicken because of its well-earned reputation as a good source of protein, and it is one of the leaner animal proteins out there. Most importantly, their whole life cycle, whether an egg, a chick, or a full-grown chicken, offer a high protein level. Hence, humans eat every stage of a chicken's life cycle for their protein needs. Number 12. One pound of house flies contains more protein than one pound of beef. A little known fact about insects, or perhaps just one we don't like to admit, is that they are a high protein source. So much so that environmentalists are advocating adopting insects as a meal replacement. In fact, a pound of house flies has more protein than a pound of beef. Owing to this fact, you should start collecting house flies. Of course, not for yourself, but for your farm animals if you have any. Nasty but nutritious. Number 13. All Fruit Loops Have the Same Flavor. Your cereal suspicions have been confirmed. Regardless of color, each delightful Fruit Loop tastes the same. Holding a blind tasting test, you will discover that all Fruit Loops only have one flavor. Fruit Loops taste like a combination of lemon, orange, lime, cherry, apple, raspberry, and blueberry. Hence, they aren't fruit. 
Their fruit and the flavor hasn't been altered since Kellogg's originally created the cereal in 1962. The list of ingredients demonstrates that the cereal contains no fruit. Number 14. Hawaiian pizza is a Canadian invention. People can be divided into two categories. Those who enjoy pineapple on pizza and others who consider it an obscenity. Sampanopoulos, a Greek-Canadian, is credit for formulating a Hawaiian pizza recipe which included cooked ham, cheese, and pineapple toppings. The birth of the Hawaiian pizza took place in Chatham, Ontario, at his satellite restaurant. Since then, the dish has been imitated worldwide, although probably not in Italy. Number 15. Bananas are berries. But strawberries aren't. Many people will be astonished to find that bananas are considered berries. Berries are commonly thought of as little fruits that may be harvested from plants, such as raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries. However, these fruits are not even botanically classified as berries. Because they emerge from flowers with several ovaries rather than single ovaries, raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries are scientifically classified as aggregation fruits. Meanwhile, bananas and other fruits that fall within the berry classification rarely have the term berry in their name and aren't commonly thought of as berries. The mistake began thousands of years ago when people started calling certain fruits berries before botanists developed a detailed classification of different kinds of fruit. And even though this classification exists today, most individuals are ignorant of it. Botanists also sometimes debate the actual category of various fruits, which adds to the confusion. Number 16. Honey never goes bad. Many scientists have discovered proof that honey never spoils. According to the archaeologists who discovered some pots of honey that had been languishing in tombs for centuries, it was confirmed that they were as fresh as when extracted. Does this imply that honey never spoils and remains fresh indefinitely? It's challenging to say. Honey will never spoil if properly stored. Sealed honey can remain and spoiled indefinitely. However, honey will crystallize or darken when stored in plastic or metal containers due to oxidation. Heat can also alter its flavor. But when stored properly, it stays fresh virtually indefinitely. Number 17. Raw oysters are still alive when you eat them. And if they aren't, you should be worried. You know those half-shell oysters you're eyeing on the shelf, the ones placed on ice that you're about to spritz with fresh lemon and slurp down. You should be aware that these sea creatures are still alive. This should be standard information, yet it's astonishing how many people don't know this. And while this may sound disgusting, it is a good thing since raw oysters aren't safe to consume when they are dead. If eaten uncooked, a dead oyster can harbor a significant amount of bacteria that can make you sick. Number 18. White chocolate is lying to us, it's not even chocolate. White chocolate is considered inferior by many people. It's believed to be artificially flavored and lacks the rich, balanced flavor of dark and milk chocolate. Well, maybe it's because white chocolate is not actually chocolate. White chocolate has no cocoa solids. Though cocoa butter is one of its main constituents, the ingredient lacks taste, which disqualifies it as chocolate. Aside from the lack of cocoa solids, white chocolate isn't considered chocolate because it frequently contains additives such as palm oil and other fillers and an excess of sugars. Number 19. Green, yellow, and red bell peppers are actually the exact same vegetable. It's time for another shocking revelation. Green, yellow, and red capsicums are all the same. Just like traffic lights, capsicum changes from green to yellow to red as it ripens. They are the same vegetable, only plucked to varying stages of maturity. So, while you may believe you're eating a salad with several types of capsicums, you're really eating the same pepper with different tastes. Number 20. Farmed salmon is dyed pink. 
What do most people desire when it comes to salmon? It's definitely not the weight or fat content. Most people look out for the color. Darker salmon sells better because it is known for its characteristic pink tint, a color frequently referred to as salmon. Because of their diet, which contains a stack xanthan, a reddish orange chemical found in krill and shrimp, wild salmon is naturally pink. On the other hand, farm raised salmon eat anything thrown into their pen. Hence, they have a natural gray color. But to satisfy customers, farm raised salmon are dyed pink before they are moved to the market. This means the color has little to do with the quality of farm raised salmon, which accounts for 70% of salmon on the market. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like the video, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell.